Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and today I have another Capture One quick tip for you. So, one of the things that uh, people often bring up when they talk about switching from Lightroom to Capture One is the fact that Capture One doesn't have Lightroom's dehaze tool. Now, this is true, but you can actually achieve a dehaze effect in Capture One. It does require a little bit of a workaround and obviously it's not the same as having this on a single slider like you do in Lightroom. But for those who require the dehaze functionality for their workflow and are looking for a way to achieve this in Capture One, um, I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, as I said, it's not exactly the same, but it does give you a similar effect. So to demonstrate this, I've picked this image here and as you can see, it's quite hazy and foggy in the distance. So to start, I've also opened this in Photoshop in Camera Raw, just so we can see what dehaze would actually do to this image. So if I drag the dehaze slider up, you can see what it's doing is it's darkening down the background and it's bringing back the sky um, and it's leaving the foreground relatively untouched um, it is darkening it a little. So after kind of doing some tests and things, what I figured out is what's happening here is it's basically doing some contrast and brightness adjustments, um, but using a luminance mask so that it's darkening the brighter areas more than the darker areas. We can actually achieve this in Capture One quite easily. So let me switch back to Capture One. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do before I do anything else, is I'm just gonna correct the black levels here. So uh, just this will make a, a little bit of a difference. So just by using the levels tool and dragging the black point up just till it hits the bottom of the histogram. Okay, so the second thing I want to do is I want to make a new layer. Um, and now this is important. So you want to go new filled layer. So this will create a new adjustment layer um, with a filled mask. And that's important because we're going to create a luminance mask for this and it only works if you have a filled layer. So once you do that, you can just click on this loom arrange button Okay, and what we want to do is drag this white point up, drag the black point all the way up here, and then drag the bottom black point all the way down, which is the fall off. Okay, so this is kind of what you're looking for in the end. Okay, and then click apply. So that's now applied a luminance mask to our layer. And then what we can do is the first thing you would, should do is bring the highlight slider right up and then you can drag the contrast up and then bring the brightness down. Okay, so if we switch back to Photoshop, you can see it's not exactly the same, but it's very similar. Um, Photoshop is kind of doing more, uh, whereas it's kind of more natural looking here. Now we can do more to this. We can actually, we can use the curve and drag this down further. If we want to get it exactly like Lightroom, but um, again, there's no real need. What you're kind of aiming for here is to uh, get it to have the same effect. Um, so another thing you can do too, is you can add some clarity to this. So if I just go punch, set this to punch and then add a bit of clarity. Uh, and that's not bad. So if I go back over here to Photoshop again, you can see, again, it's not exactly the same, but it's having the same effect. We've brought all this area back in um, and the sky has been recovered. And if we go back, you can see it's very similar. Um, and if anything, the Capture One version looks a little more natural. So once you've done this, you can fade this in and out by using the opacity slider of the layer. So I can just fade this down and fade this back up. So now you effectively have your DH slider. And if you want just for uh, completion sake, we can just rename this DHS. Okay, so there's one last thing we can do, which will make this easier to do again in the future. And that is we can save what we've just done as a style, and then we can apply that um, quickly to other images. So to do this, just right click on this and go save adjustments as style. Okay, and what you want to do is turn on all the things that you change. So we want contrast, brightness, shadow recovery, uh, curves and clarity. Okay, and then go save. And then uh, save this as um, dehaze, which I've done already, so I'm not going to do it again. 
Okay, so once you have that saved, you can then quickly apply it to another image using the same technique. So just to show you what to do, here's another image I have here. And so we'll start again by adding a new layer, new fill layer, Luma range. Quickly set our range, hit apply. And now we go apply adjustments from user styles and then select dehaze. And there you have it. So now we have our dehaze. And as you can see, it doesn't take that long at all. So there you have it. It's a super quick tip. Um, again, I know it's not exactly the same and it's not as easy as doing it in Lightroom or Photoshop with just one slider. But if you need to achieve the effect, that's how you do it. Okay, I hope you have found this useful. If you have, please like this video, subscribe to the channel and uh, don't forget to uh, check out the rest of our Capture One videos. Okay, thanks for watching and see you next time.